watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Well today we're going to be taking a look at a premium knife review. That is one that's over $50 in the traditional realm. This one was $58 to be exact. And we're going to be looking at a case knife. Comes in this packaging here with the black box gold lettering. There we are, Case & Sons XX, Cutlery Company, established 1889. You get the tested XX on this side and tested XX on this side. On the back, lets us know it is made in the United States of America with imported and domestic materials. And you have the round logo there to be our Case & Sons Cutlery Company, established 1889, twice tested and never bested. We're looking at model number 25205. This is the Burnt Caribbean Blue Bone Corn Cob Jig Sodbuster Jr. Just rolls off the tongue. 6137 SS is your pattern number and your born on born on date is January 16th, 2024. So a very recent release, just over a month old. And uh yeah, we're gonna be uh taking a look at this SMKW exclusive. So they were calling this, they kind of nicknamed this the sea dragon um for the handle material there you can kind of see it's blue got like dragon style scales i guess um but you know the official name was the blue burnt bone caribbean but this is an smkw exclusive and they were only sold through smkw and this uh handle material now i've been told that the sodbuster is already sold out very popular one amongst the uh, series and I uh, don't know if they're going to be getting any more. So I'm not, I'm not even 100% sure, sure you'll be able to buy this anymore. But hoping they will restock at some point. Perhaps they did not get all their uh, order numbers for this particular knife. It's probably been pretty popular, I'd imagine. I remember Isaac mentioning they were going to take about six of them to you know, to the uh, Texas knife show. And... Uh, that, that was all they had with them. So, I don't know. They may have already sold out. To, uh, depending on, uh, like I said, they're going to restock or not. But you have this beautiful handle material here. Like I said, the corn cob jigging. You get the arrow head style shield. Brass pins. But this is sort of a brownish color. Intertwined with the blue. Sort of like a shipped wrecked styling to it with the burnt brownish colors intermingled into the blue uh, sodbuster jr on uh, the pattern measures three and let's call it three and five eighths so pretty decent size knife get the drop point blade we're looking at a stainless steel on this particular one as the box mentioned but just a really beautiful handle material i just thought the this steps it up a notch over just your normal Caribbean blue bone. I think this uh, add addition of the brown and gold overtones, it just makes it that much more attractive. A little more coloring on the back as far as the gold goes. You get a little more of that sort of uh, antiqued look to it. Shipwrecked look, if you will. Which is probably why they're calling it Sea Dragon, right? Because it's... Uh, Caribbean blue and uh, does kind of look like dragon scales a little bit. But you have really good build on this one. Fit and finish has been far better than many of the knives I've gotten from Case. So I don't really see any massive gapping or anything. Nothing nothing even really worth mentioning. Uh, the spring does maybe sit proud just slightly in the closed position, but it's very, very minor. And you may have a little bit of a gap here at the top, but again, it's very minor. Uh, and the handles are all well hafted. You've got uh, all this edging is rolled over and feels very nice in the hand. Pins are nice and rolled over as well. And there's no proud pieces sticking up anywhere along the handle there. That feels very good. If we flip it over, much the same on this side. Get that arrowhead shield, which I really like. Case stamped in there. 
as the letters increase in size along with the width of the arrowhead. It's kind of a neat thing to do. But that's well inlaid. I don't feel like that's going to pop out or anything. I'm not filling any areas around the shield. So that's laid in there smoothly and flat. And all those pins are nicely ground down. You can see there on the side how smooth those are. So that's just a, that's a well-made knife. Let's look at the centering. You can see it's well-centered. Not rubbing the sides. I just had a Barlow I reviewed recently, which did not have the greatest centering in the world, but this one does. So, thankful for that. Uh, good look at how the nail nick is accessible on the sides. The tang here has been rolled over a little bit, so that's not going to be edgy or sharp. Again, those handles all along the top there, very, very smooth. So, yes do like the way this one was built. And of course, the Sawbuster comes with the drop point blade. Get the mirror finish on this one. Stainless steel again. Let's look at the edge. Not 100% consistent across the length of it, as you can see, but you can, uh, you can work with it. You can touch it up a little bit, I imagine. Really glossy finish on the mirror finished blade. Let's look at the other side. Might be a little better in terms of consistency on this side. So, yeah, pretty happy with that. There's a look at your pattern number. Uh, we have USA 6137. Let's turn that inward a little bit so we can see the rest of the tang. And there you can see at the bottom, SS. So, <clears throat> six standing for the bone, a one-bladed knife, and that's the 37 pattern. Stainless steel, made in the United States. Of course, these are etched on. They are not, uh, they are not stamped anymore. We've got the six dots, k 6 six, and that lets us know that uh, this is four years removed from 2020, so 2024 year stamp on there. But look at that knife. It's just a fantastic handle. I mean, that's kind of why you buy case knives, right? They, they just do some pretty special things with their handle material. And I guess that's kind of what allows me to forgive them on some of their misgivings with the quality control. Not that I should let that slide, but I think I'm not alone in that, right? They, uh, they need to step it up. But this one was done well. You don't have uh, really anything to complain about on this one. Beautiful brass liners. Just a minor amount of gapping here. But overall, this knife looks really, really good. And for 58 bucks, I'm pleased. Now, I can't afford to buy a case knife every single review or anything like that, but uh, I felt like um, this one being an exclusive and uh, compared, you know, price-wise to the others like the Stockman. And, you know, you start getting into the 75 and $85 mark. 58 looked pretty attractive, comparatively speaking. And I'm glad I bought this one because it really shows off all the handle material. You don't have the bolsters or anything like that. So you get a lot of real estate with that uh, Sea Dragon coloring. So very happy with that. But uh yeah, the pull on it, I'd say, ooh, I don't know, about a seven. Right at right at seven, I'd say. Good snap into the clothes. You can see how that fits on that. Of course, that's been rolled over a little bit, so you'll have some rounder edges on the contact point there, but otherwise that's that's pretty darn good. Snaps into place, back and forth, walk and talk. Really good. Happy with that. Let's take a measure of the blade. So, to the to the top of the tang, we've got a measure of about two and three quarter inches. And then cutting edge, just a little bit over two and a half. 
So it'll definitely be uh, UK legal. No issues there with size. And again, that handle length, right about that three and five eighths inch mark. So very pocketable. I guess if I was going to put this in a slip, I'd probably pick the medium slip, medium size slip. That fits in there well. But uh, with the bone handle case knives, you got to be really careful. I hate the idea of dropping these. So I generally only carry them in a an environment where if I were to drop them, uh, it probably wouldn't be a casualty. So carpeted floors, things like that. So not going to be your outdoor user kind of thing for me, but that's just me. You guys do what you want. Some of you guys aren't as clumsy and careless. Uh, but I worry about dropping things. Uh, with arthritic hands, that happens. But I appreciate you guys watching today. I hope you enjoyed the review. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell to be made aware of videos when they drop. We're going to see you next time. Take care.